It has been used to sway battles, plan attacks, escalate wars, and even protect your personal information. The innovation of cryptology in warfare and technology has altered history and changed the way people live. Cryptology is made up of two parts, cryptography and cryptanalysis. Cryptography is the art of encrypting messages that can be deciphered later on, while cryptanalysis is the science of deciphering and understanding encrypted messages. There are many methods of concealing information using cryptography. These are split into two main parts, codes and ciphers. A code is when a word or phrase is replaced by a number, a symbol, or another word. A cipher is when each letter is replaced by something else. Codes are like big books, and if you want to use a new code, you have to print a new book, distribute it to everybody, and everybody use it. With a cipher, all you have to distribute is, is a key, a different word, something like that, which will change the cipher. So ciphers are much more flexible, and that's why they are used these days in armies instead of big code books, which were used in the past. Either can be stronger depending on how they are used, and not using them correctly can make cryptology more negative to the user than if they had never been introduced at all. I think cryptology is unique because it has made intelligence as important as, is, as it is in the world. Uh, as one protective method was used, adversaries would begin to figure out how to exploit it so people would have to innovate to stay ahead of those who were snoopers. The first documented use of cryptology is in ancient Egypt, and then in Sparta it was used in warfare. In the Arab world, frequency analysis was discovered and opened the door for cryptology later on. Queen Mary of Scots was proved guilty and therefore executed due to cryptology. From then on, cryptology began a long legacy of impact. Nothing should be as favorably regarded as intelligence. Nothing should be as generously rewarded as intelligence. Nothing should be as confidential as the work of intelligence, said Sun Tzu, the author of The Art of War. During the American Revolution, it seems that both sides took Sun Tzu's advice on intelligence through the use of cryptology. James Lovell, an American cryptologist, deciphered several important messages during the end of the American Revolution to help George Washington defeat the British at the pivotal Battle of Yorktown. While cryptology was important during the American Revolution, it was used on a much wider scale during World War I. In World War I, intelligence became more important as the need for successful coordination increased. Naturally, because of this, cryptology advanced at a rapid rate. On August 5, 1914, the British cable ship Telconia cut German transatlantic cables. These telegraph lines were the main source of communication to the rest of the world for the Germans. From there on, Germany would have to use susceptible means of communication, such as radio, which produced signals that anyone could snatch straight out of the air, or enemy controlled cables which were dangerous for obvious reasons. These factors would cause Germany to use ciphers and codes in an attempt to keep their intelligence safe from enemies, but they would not succeed and the opposition would be Room 40, a secret team of British cryptanalysts who decrypted thousands of messages during the war. One of the most important messages that they would decrypt was the Zimmerman telegram. Germany was afraid that America would enter the war due to the unrestricted submarine warfare that they were waging, so Arthur Zimmerman, German Secretary of Foreign Affairs, hatched a plot in the event of America entering World War I, and so he sent a telegram to Mexico saying, it is understood that Mexico is to reconquer the lost territory in New Mexico, Texas, and Arizona. And when this was made public and suddenly the Americans realized that Mexico might be attacking America and marching up through the middle of the country, so the whole country exploded and six weeks later declared war on Germany. And this brought America onto the world stage, made America world power. World War II further advanced the use of cryptology in warfare with the inventions of several cryptographic machines, including the infamous German Enigma. The German Enigma cipher machine was originally sold commercially in the 1920s, but during World War II, the use of an improved version by Nazi Germany made a huge impact. While the Polish had cracked the Enigma in 1932, the British team of cryptanalysts at Bletchley Park, led by the renowned Alan Turing, were able to solve the continuously changing ciphers of the Enigma machine. 
uh, the ability to solve the enigma and exploit those communications, uh, to my mind, saved hundreds of thousands of American lives because it had the effect of shortening the war. So by getting more supplies over and more men over to the European side from the United States, this was one way in which code breaking helped shorten World War II. During World War II, America presented a new idea of cryptology, the encryption of telephony. General George Marshall had information that Japan was going to stop diplomatic relations with America. The A3 scrambler system normally used was thought to be vulnerable, so he decided to send a warning through coded telegraph to Hawaii, but it was too late to stop the attack on Pearl Harbor. The insecure telephone encryption caused the information that had been decrypted to be rendered useless. After this event, the Sig Sally came out, successfully encrypting over 3,000 secure telephone conversations so well that the will to attempt to crack telephone communications had depleted. After Japan engaged America into war, they devised a plan to make a strong attack on the American island base of Midway, expecting to win. The Americans were able to tell the direction, date, and force that the Japanese would utilize during the battle by solving encrypted messages that had been intercepted. America prepared accordingly, and as a result, Japan did not attain the victory it had planned to. It lost one carrier, another was badly damaged, and many aircrafts and flight crewmen were also lost. Although America also sustained losses and the battle is considered a draw, without America's cryptanalytic skill, the results could have been very different. This event, where cryptology made a difference in battle, showed on an international stage how important cryptanalysis was in warfare. America used an unbroken cryptographic machine named Sagaba to keep information safe, while on the seas, naval messages were kept safe with the use of the Navajo language as a code. Both the British and American cryptologic efforts helped shorten the war. In more recent times, cryptology continues to make a huge impact on world events, but often unknown to the public. Al-Qaeda uses public encryption services to send messages. For example, Al-Qaeda couriers delivered floppy disks with important information. This information is encrypted using free online methods of encryption, such as Pretty Good Privacy, a free file encryption service. American officials have reported that plans of the September 11 attacks used email services such as Hotmail, which depends on public key cryptography, to keep the messages safe. They would even talk on chat rooms using codes. In this sense, Cryptology made it possible for the 9-11 attacks to be planned and take place. In 1998, a congressional testimony described how important one laptop was to uncovering a planned attack. After decrypting the information on the laptop of Ramzi Youssef, an operative in the 1993 World Trade Center bombings, the FBI discovered a plot that would have potentially killed 4,000 passengers on 12 different flights. The FBI was able to use cryptanalysis to save thousands of lives from what would have been a devastating attack on the United States. The cryptology has been used for more than warfare. Public key cryptography allows users to privately send and receive information over the internet. This method of encryption allows individuals to have privacy, but many government agencies are able to bypass this encryption to read people's personal information when searching for illegal activities. This has caused controversy in governments all over the world that continues today. Public key cryptography is also used to make online transactions on websites such as Amazon. While the first documented use of cryptology was in ancient Egypt, the history of the innovation of cryptology is not one that has a single origin, but one where individuals have made their own advances. This imbalance of cryptologic knowledge has allowed intelligence to be implemented for the advantage of the country, group, or person with the best cryptologic skills. The innovation of cryptology is how the user uses it, and that's the very reason why its impact has been so widespread. The future of cryptology is unpredictable, but it is certain that it will continue to have a huge impact in society and war. Cryptology is being used as you surf the internet, so privacy with cryptology will surely advance in the future as identity thieves and hackers become more skilled. Often, information on how cryptology affected warfare is held for many years afterward. Who knows how cryptology is affecting battle at this very moment? The question for the future of cryptology is not if, but how and to what extent this innovation will impact the world.